Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. A square is inscribed in a quarter circle in such a way that two of its vertices are along the arc of the quarter circle. If the quarter circle has a radius equal to 1, what is the area of the square equal to? This problem was given to students who are approximately 12 to 13 years old. I think it's a very challenging problem to give to students of that age group, and in fact, I think many geometry students would find this to be a challenging problem. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Before I present the solution, I would like to thank the following people who helped me solve this problem on Twitter. Thanks to at Ahmed underscore Elashraf, at Scott Rawlinson, and at Oaken Atale 1970. To solve this problem, consider the side of the square that's a chord of the quarter circle. Construct the perpendicular bisector of this chord. Since it's a perpendicular bisector of a chord, it will pass through the center of the quarter circle. Then, since we have a square, this will also be the perpendicular bisector of the opposite side of the square. Now consider this right triangle. By side angle side, we will have a congruent right triangle right next to it. Since these two triangles are congruent, they will bisect the 90 degrees of the quarter circle. In other words, these two angles will each be equal to 45 degrees. Then this means each of these triangles is an isosceles right triangle, where each of the acute angles is equal to 45 degrees, and therefore the two legs of these right triangles are equal to each other. So this distance is also equal to the other leg of the right triangle. We will now use this information to solve the problem. Let's remove some of these markings. Suppose half the side of the square has a length equal to x. Then these distances will also be equal to x, and the side of the square will be equal to 2x. Now construct this radius of the circle. Since it's a radius of the circle, its length will be equal to 1. Now consider this right triangle. Let's just focus on its dimensions. Its shorter leg is equal to x, its longer leg is equal to x plus 2x, which is equal to 3x, and its hypotenuse is equal to 1. Since we have a right triangle, here we go again. We must have x squared plus 3x, the quantity squared, is equal to 1 squared. This means x squared plus 9x squared is equal to 1, which means 10x squared is equal to 1. Consequently, we will have that x squared is equal to 1 over 10. We want the area of the square, which will be equal to its side length squared. So it will be equal to 2x the quantity squared, which is equal to 4x squared. But since x squared is equal to 1 over 10, we can substitute in. Thus the area of the square is equal to 4 over 10, or 0.4. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.